This Adopt Me hacker just invented a brand new Adopt Me pet. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and comment down below what is your dream pet inside of Adopt Me. And also use star code CANDY when purchasing Robux. This Adopt Me hacker has literally managed to go and invent multiple brand new pets and they actually put them in the game. Where you can even become this brand new pet that this Adopt Me hacker has gone and invented. Please note, I don't recommend going and hacking as this thing will probably get you banned on Roblox and Adopt Me. So do not try this at home. I'm sharing this video for educational purposes so you guys can be informed about what is happening inside of Adopt Me and what can these players do. In case you randomly stumble into one, into a random Adopt Me server and you see this brand new pet, then this will explain how it's happened. If you haven't seen my other hacker videos already, I've gone and showcased multiple hacks that this Adopt Me player has gone and done. From turning players into Shrek to go and duplicating things in Adopt Me, this player has absolutely got some of the strangest hacks inside of Adopt Me. They even went and turned everyone into Shrek in the latest video so let's go and find out what they've gone and done in this private server then we'll go and discuss what pets they've made and how have they managed to do it so this right here is a video called I destroyed my own private server and adopt me and this happened uh, you know what I really want to know what happens so let's find out we're gonna start off by looking at this uh, the fact that it's a private server good job I'm glad he hasn't destroyed a public server that would cause some havoc ladies and gentlemen Okay, let's watch this video. Straight away, we can notice that his game is super laggy. Is that a rhino? I don't even know what pet he has equipped. It's called Baba. I, I have no idea. So, this looks like the Adopt Me home section area. And each thing seems to have a red square around it. So, these red squares are the types of things that a hacker would go and use to identify where a player is. Say you're playing a game where you're playing hide and seek and you need to try and find where a player is. Well, you could see through a wall and it would show a red border allowing users to kind of like x-ray to see where the players are, which is uh, which is a hack commonly used in like MM2 or random other Roblox Adopt Me games. So this guy's just equipped um, a dancing dragon. Is that what dancing dragons normally look like? Do they normally breathe fire behind them like that? I don't know. This is very... His dancing dragon has neon white eyes and neon teeth. I'm going to check if that's actually what a dancing dragon is meant to look like. So let's search dancing. Uh, do they all look like that? Is that maybe like a neon one? I I don't know. Maybe he's... Maybe he's hacked it. His looks evil. What is a neon dancing dragon? Let's check the journal. Has he managed to like change it? Or is that just a neon version? They could just be neon. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm wrong. The neon version is just like the the underbelly glow. So this guy uh, has activated something to make it an evil version. This thing looks crazy. The fire breathing out of this pet. It's just leaving a trail. And look at all these boxes. You know what? I can understand why his game is so laggy right now what is the benefit of this hack i gotta know look the eyes are here the the dragons just vanished i want to know the benefit of this he's activating a crow all right is he gonna get some crazy eyes i don't know what's happening i think his his game crashed he crashed it okay all right so we know that this hacker is literally eligible to go and create strange things make adopt me pets become literally evil and have glowing eyeballs but the question is how in the world have they gone and invented new pets that's right they have literally been able to go and invent multiple brand new pets inside of adopt me and they actually work like you can become these pets you can stand on these pets and other players in the server can actually see these pets which is the craziest thing that other players can see this stuff. So considering this player can genuinely go and add basically anything in Adopt Me, I wonder what type of pets they would add. This right here is the concept station, a station where there is over 100 concepts of pets that should be added into Adopt Me. There's some crazy concepts and that means that anyone could basically use these and add them if they were a hacker. Like the hacker could be like, oh, I like the looks of this white pinky parrot. I'm gonna add that as my pet. That would be crazy. If I join an Adopt Me server 
and I just see this pet pop out in the corner, I'm gonna be going crazy if someone has that. Imagine they then say, oh, I'm trading it. That would be crazy. So these are pet concepts created by my friend. He's a really talented person. They go and create like different pet models for what they think will be in future updates. And they just show off their creativity of some Adopt Me pets, such as a candy cane guy or this bat dragon dude. This one, insane. I absolutely love this guy because it's kind of like a little bat dragon. So um, if I join a server and I see this thing in it, um, then you should run. I'd probably leave the server if I was you. If you're in the server with some crazy hacker, I would probably leave it. But yeah, this guy, this dude is definitely my favorite. There's so many awesome concepts in this game. And I wonder what type of thing the hacker will go and hack into a dummy. Like, they could go and do whatever they like and put it into the game, which is the craziest thing that that's even possible. So no, you probably can't trade these things to my knowledge. Someone's not gonna be able to get a hacked pet and trade it to someone else. So let's watch the video. It's called, I became Flopper on Adopt Me. Flopper is the name of this, this cube. So this play has turned into a cube, by the way, which is, fascinating um so they, they are the pet right now so flopper is like this thing from a youtube channel which has like millions of subscribers it's like a character it's a well-known character in roblox everyone loves it everyone wants to become flopper there's like a game called razor flopper or something so they've just basically grabbed that and somehow transformed their account into it and they are now a flopper they've they're so small that they can just go into secret areas, okay? I'm not surprised. I mean, the guy's a hacker. You can go wherever you want, all right? Um, so what I want to see is how other players interact with this because it's not just this guy who can see it. It's literally anyone in the server can tell that this guy looks like this, that they look like a small cube box. I'm pretty sure that this isn't just them dressing up their avatar because... I'm pretty sure there's no way you can dress your avatar to look like something like this. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Is this just them dressing up their avatar using some weird glitches? I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure they've actually done some type of weird thing to become this. So this player right here, like, uh, realizes what is that? Yeah, if you join a server and you see a floating cube of a weird animal you've never seen, you are gonna go and investigate this thing. So they, they, it's, it's very laggy. This player has just seen it and like stared at it. I can't blame him. If I see this, I'd be staring at this thing as well. I'd be taking screenshots. I'd be going crazy. Then they just say, look. So they realize that this person is uh, definitely suspicious. And they said to look at it. Yeah, I'd look at it as well. Um, so they can jump around, they can move, they became the pet basically, which is bizarre. Other players can jump on them, by the way. So look, they just stood on them, uh, which means that it's like a real thing. They can interact with it. It's not just weirdly edited. This hacker has also uploaded some strange videos, such as Cookie Cutter Whitey's Revenge, where it's a video of me punching the hacker. No, no questions um, that's, that's the video. That's it. So what is the new pet that they created in Adopt Me? Watch till the end to see. All right. I want to know what pet they've got. They got a dodo. Did they add the crazy bat dragon thing? I hope so. I hoped they'd add that. But, um, so they're in a server. Oh, what is that? Out of all of the things you could have added into Adopt Me, they have to add the scariest thing possible. With demon hands and black smoke. Of course you do. Of course, that's the first thing they think of. So this is the guy that they just dressed up as. And then this is a cat called Beluga from the YouTube channel called Beluga. And what is that? That looks horrendous. Versus. If you join a server and they hack and become that thing, I would be petrified. I would leave the server because I'd be scared. And what is this? I don't know what this is. It's a big character with a mask. But I've seen this hacker control these things before. So they made a different video where they actually became this thing and controlled it. Um, so you can see there's like actual... In that video, you could see that it was like the actual Adopt Me and it had shadows. It had everything to be real 
a dummy, which is why it's concerning. So I'm pretty sure you can't trade these things. How I believe they've gone and done this is by um, going and like changing what a like uh, dog looks like and turning that into one of these new pets. So they'll like replace what the dog's body looks like into something else and maybe it's only temporary. I'm not too 100% sure how this works, but I'm pretty sure it's not harmful. Well, we'll all hope that. Uh, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Do you think uh, it's crazy that players are now able to hack and just implement whatever pet they like the look of? And also, do you want to see a video where I showcase every single one of these concepts? Because there are so many awesome concepts here, which I think need showing off. Don't be scared about joining Adopt Me. The hacker's not going to, like, hack you, I'm pretty sure. It's still a safe game to play, all right? Don't worry, guys. No need to freak out. Thanks for watching. Use star code CANDY. Bye-bye.